have a group of people who are carrying out a role and it's just like it's just psychology they're, they're going to believe that their role is very important and therefore they try to grab power they try to be the point of, of reference and the point of authority in terms of authorizing these different cloud services and they convince the powers that be within the company that they they need to be the ones who dole this out could cost controls things like that probably for lots i think in, initially probably for valid reasons um but they become very authoritarian uh, ultimately and they become a place where people have to go and have endless discussions around why they need the resource what resource you're going to use and certainly in the you know innovation paths if you're moving into multi-cloud for example and you have a set standard around aws and you want to do something on microsoft because that has happens to be a best of breed service they have to approve it. So they have to approve any kind of deviations for the standard. And again, that becomes a bureaucratic nightmare where many, you know, project leaders, and I run into this myself, just to give up. Okay, we're, yeah, it's, it's too much of a pain to use Microsoft. We're just going to use AWS, even though those services are going to be a lot less optimized cost-wise and efficiency-wise for our purposes. So governance should be implemented as a policy as code and automated guardrail scenario, not manual architecture review boards um, that slow every initiative. 